going on everybody rob here aka trans 2323 we got a kohler k241 right here i had to replace the crank uh, on the connecting rod i'm going to show you about that but that's intake combustion extake no 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 hold on this is uh, uh intake combustion extake okay let's talk points really fast on this 10 horsepower kohler i'm whispering because my grandson's sleeping um the points are very tiny just little microscopic and they go open and close with your engine timed to create the spark and it's actually a negative the, the points are a negative that screw to the block of your Kohler so you have to make sure that's all cleaned really good um, not where the gasket is the set screw if you unscrew that set screw the whole thing comes off clean your engine clean the back of that then put it on before you adjust your points okay and then the understanding of the points is they're timed where it the function of it is to call the coil to ground the coil it causes a negative for the coil because there's a constant positive for the coil and the pot so the negative there's a condenser and the negative that comes to the points okay the condenser is for any extra electricity it gets sent to the condenser to just leave out so it don't send too much to the spark plug okay but with the points go like this what they're doing is they're grounding the the coil they're grounding the coil to shoot the electricity to the spark plug and when they open up they stop so the spark plug is not bzzz. it's easier to check them to rotate the engine with the spark plug out i had the head off anyways with the spark plug out because when you got the spark plug in or everything buttoned down there's compression and you'll feel the when you're turning the engine so take the spark plug out and it's easier to set the points that way now i set them and did everything that there's flogs on this whole video series but when i put it on the engine i had to keep testing because i was not getting any ground to the coil so I even bought a new coil and it, after I took them points off and sanded the black pew, 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 with them off in future videos you'll see the spark hitting all right let's go back to the video intake combustion release it, intake combustion release okay so you got to set the uh, points right here right now I'm gonna set the points since I have the top off and I know when it's top dead center I could take this off and this is where your points are right here uh, I wasn't able to make a full rotation on this that piston it'll only go this way stop this way stop this way stop and it wasn't making the full rotation so I had to replace the connecting rod so we'll get to that in a little bit uh, I'm gonna try to get it top dead center to go ahead and do the points and it should be wide open right in the middle of it oh, let's see this oh, okay then top dead center right there top dead center right there so now with the points are down here there's two screws you see nothing's connected right now i'm doing everything i took everything off of it except the carburetor and then i'm gonna do it piece by piece again so let me get this off right here and then i'll be right back with you okay there's the points right here so if i turn this that's top dead center right here and it's closed on top dead center let me see again all the way open and it's midway it's not top dead center so let me adjust this a little bit we'll see what's going on here okay so let me get you in there with the points you keep turning it's it's very microscopic that you see them open and close but you got to try to turn your wheel until it gets to the furthest open point now it's open you can see it furthest open for me would be right here okay so then you unscrew this screw right here you don't gotta bog it down now it just moves and everything so put your feeler gauge in there the screw that I just removed to adjust the points if you take it all the way out that's what i sanded right there that side and the back of that or the back of the points i didn't take the ones with the gasket off that one screw right there is what i took off to sand the back of that that wasn't making contact with the block to short the engine to 
break the negative. All right, put that down right there. Got this all the way in right here. You don't want to push it open yourself. Then you put your points back in there. I mean your gap. Your point twenty gap is in there. And then with your point twenty gap, make sure it's at point twenty. See, this whole thing moves out once you take that screw off. You kind of want to set back in there, and then you gap it. No, oh, that's the wrong thing. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Okay, so I'm at a point twenty right there. Uh, come on, work with me here. Work with me. All right, there we go. Point twenty right there on the gap. Then you're gonna tighten it up, hand tight. Okay, and take it out. I should be able to put that in. No, it's still a little bit too tight. I tightened it up too much. That's where you can slide it in and out. Tighten it up a little more. All right. Now I could tighten it up. Ooh, my back's hurting me just bending over doing this. All right, points. 20, point two zero. Okay, fine. Right in there. Now when you turn it a couple times, man it's like you could barely see a touch. Open, close, good to go. All right, so those points are adjusted, zero to zero. When you do that, make sure that you have this clean. You don't want grease in your points.